AJ and I am back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so you can be notified every single time yours truly uploads a new video. If you are not new here, welcome back, but you always come back because I am everyone's favorite everything and your favorite YouTuber and everything I touch turns to gold. So in today's video, we are talking about how you can still get what you want and react. And I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube with people telling you that you have, that you can't react to your 3D circumstances. And if you do react, you're keeping in the old story and blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you something. I cannot stress to you how many times I've done reactive in the past and I've managed to still get what I wanted. I can't tell you how many times that my circumstances seemed really crappy and somehow my circumstances changed. I do not know how, but they did. And this is before I got into conscious manifesting. This is before I got into learning about law of assumption and all that and this extra stuff. Like this is before any of the stuff that we're, we, we're being taught and literally every five seconds there's a new coach on YouTube trying to preach about the law of assumption. This is before I got into all of this. I've been in some really crappy circumstances and I really don't know how I've managed to survive and I've reacted, I've bent it, I've stressed out, I've done the most but I, you know what I've still managed to get what I want. I've managed to also get almost every single one of my ex ba exes back. Keep in mind these were all at different time frames of my life so I did not get them all back all at once that's for another video. If you want me to do a story time video about how I manifest every single one of my exes back, comment below. Let me know you're watching. If you want me to do that, I have no problem doing that. The only thing I the only thing I can say that I know now <laughs> differently is that when I did manifest these people back, I did not have a really great con self concept. And now that I know what I know now, my self-concept is through the roof. So now I can pretty much manifest somebody into my life and keep them because my self-concept is really, really high. Um, but in the past, my self-concept was wishy-washy. So I would get somebody back and then lose them because my self-concept wasn't really that great. But again, that's for a whole other video. Today's video, I really wanted to stress and talk about the importance of like being healthy and manifesting in a healthy manner. I do like I don't want anybody to feel delusional and I have been doing these videos because the way I speak to you guys and when I'm posting these videos, these are my videos to go back to and speak to myself. So the way I'm talking to you is how I'm speaking to myself. That's how I'm doing these videos for. They're like my diary. So they're helping me to feel better. And if I is helping me to feel better, I'm sure that it's going to help someone else feel better as well. So I re and, and since I started school and I'm studying homeless psychology and whatnot, I don't want anybody to feel like they I never want anybody to feel like they're not doing something in a very healthy manner. And I think a lot of the time um, when it comes to manifesting or the videos that are on manifesting, it can sometimes be unhealthy and very delusional to think that you're going to get what you want. And if you're being told that you can't react to something and you're feeling triggered by something, there's a reason for why you feel triggered. And sometimes we need to get to the root of that trigger, but to get to that root of that trigger, you need to allow yourself to feel. You need to allow yourself to react. You need to allow yourself to vent. Don't sit here not reacting, not venting, and not 
allowing yourself to feel the emotions because you want what you want, because that is not healthy. While there are some people that can be delusional, that can focus on what they want and not react, there are some people like me, and I'm pretty sure there's other people like me, because if I feel like this, there are other people who feel like this too, who cannot sit there not reacting, not being able to vent, not doing X, Y, Z. That's not healthy. That is, there's a healthier way to do things. I believe there's a healthier way to do things. And I think, especially with me studying holistic psychology, it, it, it talks about what works. We, we My holistic healing approach um, class, we talk about what works for one person may not work for you. What works for this person may not. We talk about that. And I really want to stress this to you guys because it's like, you guys really need to figure out what works for you. And don't sit here being a doormat. If you have something that you want to say to your specific person, make sure you say that. Because I can't stress that enough to how much speaking ends up helping you in the end. You can't sit there not speaking on your truth because in the end, Feelings and emotions are energy. And if you do not release that energy, it is going to cause problems in your body. If you do not find a way to release that energy. And sometimes reacting and screaming or yelling, crying, that is what you have to do to get what you want because you need to release that energy. Because if you do not, it's going to create health issues if you do not release that energy because it has to go somewhere because it's been created, it has to go somewhere. So my thing is, is find a way to be healthy. And if you are manifesting being in a healthy relationship with your specific person, you're gonna have moments where you need to express yourself. You're gonna have moments where you need to speak your truth and speak your mind to your specific person. Don't sit there and not speak your mind and not tell your specific person how you're feeling about a situation. Don't. Just because you can manifest a change doesn't mean you should sit there not speaking how you feel because in a healthy relationship, you're going to speak your truth. You're going to speak your mind and you're going to tell them how you feel. So don't be afraid to not speak up on the things that you do not like. Don't, don't be afraid to do that. It's perfectly normal. That's perfectly healthy. Don't sit here allowing the manifesting community to tell you you can't react and you can't do this and you can't do that. No, do this, manifest your specific person, but do it in a healthy way. Manifest the things that you want in your life and change the things you want in your life in a healthy way. There's a way to do it where you're not feeling overwhelmed and not feeling reacting. Like I'm telling you from my experience, I've reacted so many times and I've managed to still get what I want, even though I've reacted. I can't stress to you how many times I've done that. So do not sit here listening to these coaches telling you to not react because at the end of the day, they're a completely different person. So if a coach is telling you and getting mad at you, if you're coaching with somebody and they're telling you to not react and they're getting mad at you for reacting to your 3J circumstances and you're being tough on you because you're reacting, they're not the coach for you. Because nine out of 10 times, the coaches that you're getting coaching from, they don't even know what they're talking about. And they are not a licensed therapist. So I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather go to somebody who's actually studying psychology or has some type of psychology background and without like without like before going to some type of coach that's just putting out videos for, for clout because honestly that's what a lot of these um coaches are doing they're not actually gurus they're not spiritual teachers they are just making videos about manifesting because it's popular to do so so when you are looking for videos Make sure the coaches or whoever you're getting trying to get coaches from or learning from, make sure they know what they're talking about. Because I'm sorry to say this, there's so many coaches on YouTube now. How can you tell the difference between who's real and who's not real? 
And there's some, some of them are too young to sit here saying they a coach. They haven't gone through life, enough life experience to sit here being a coach to somebody. Like, you can't sit here, like, being a coach when you're 17 years old, when you're 16 years old. I'm sorry, not sorry, but I, make that make sense to me. How are you getting coaching and how are you being praised for being a really great coach when you haven't even gone through life yourself? You can manifest all the subscriber, YouTube subscribers all you want, but at the end of the day, you haven't gone through life yourself. And there are some people like me that, are, that have intense emotions that are an empath that need gu deeper guidance, that have gone through traumatic situations and issues. And you... There's a certain approach and a certain way you gotta go about it and he and you gotta heal. You gotta heal. Like I can't stress this enough. Allow yourself to feel the emotion, allow yourself to heal, allow yourself to react, allow yourself to vent. Don't sit here listening to all what everybody else is doing just because somebody else is doing it. Don't mean it's not a doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. Not everybody is a coach. Remember that. Not everyone is a coach. And as a whole, for a whole other video, for a whole other day. I really hope that this video helped you guys. Um, I also want to reiterate my top three favorite coaches that I feel like will help you guys, Dylan James, Alicia Bradley from Refined You, and Caleb from Pluto's Gate. I also somewhat like Kim Velez, but you know, my top three are Dylan, Alicia Bradley, and Caleb. Those are my top three. And Anya, no, Annie, uh, uh, Annie from Create Your Future. Those are some of the coaches that, that those are some of the coaches I like and recommend. There are some just there's just but there's just way too many coaches and every five seconds on my YouTube page, like when I go on YouTube, every five seconds there's a new manifesting coach. There's someone new on YouTube with 20 subscribers making manifesting videos, talking about law of assumption, law of attraction. Every five seconds there's someone new. So it, it's kind of making me wonder, are people doing these videos because they want to help people? Or are people doing these videos because they're trying to get famous off YouTube? Which one is it? And from my channel, I don't just talk about manifesting. My, I have a whole lifestyle channel. So yeah, There's a, it's a bit concerning. But that's for a whole other video, for a whole other day. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you guys. Bye.